Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming my thoughts on the Naked palette, and I just filmed this, um, like, eye look, so I'm going to be inserting a clip at the end of the video about, or like, how to get this eye look, so yeah, I don't know, I'm like squ squinting my eyes, but it just uses some of the Naked palette colors, and you can't really see it, but you'll see it in the clip, but it's just so, it's very neutral and like, natural which I like. So if you don't know what palette I'm talking about, this is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. You can get it at Ulta, Sephora, UrbanDecay.com. It's $48 and it comes with a shadow brush and Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I really like this. The primer potion, the brush, it's kind of too dense for shadows, so I like to use it for concealer. So that's kind of like a tip. You can also use that brush for a concealer brush, which I like it a lot better as a concealer brush. Okay, so first I'm going to go and show you what the inside looks like. So it says naked right here, and then it just has a mirror. And then you can fold the packaging over like this, which one thing I really like about this is the packaging. And it has 12 shades. It goes from like... So this is very virgin neutral to thin, naked... Sidecar, Buck, Half Baked, Smog, Dark Horse, Toasted, Hustle, Creep, and then the very last one is called Gunmetal. So I really like the color variety in this palette, which is a pro for me for this palette is that it has a good um it has a good color like variety. And the next thing I like about it is it's very easy to travel with. I have not traveled with it yet, but it's so like compact that you can just bring just this palette and you can do so many eye looks with it. So it's like the like the best travel palette to bring. Um, it, the eyeshadows are very pigmented. I'm only going to swatch, or I'm going to swatch them for you um, a little bit later, but those are the shadows. And I already said this before, but you can do so many different looks with this palette. Um, like these first four colors, or kind of first five, are very neutral, which I used most of them. Yeah, I used the first five colors in the tutorial that I did. And then like Half Baked and Smog are more like golden-y tone colors. Dark Horse is a very deep um, brown color. Toasted is not that like dark, but it is kind of like a darker color, which I really like Toasted. And then Hustle is like a deep purple brown. Creep is like a black with sparkly color, with, with sparkles in it, not sparkly color. And gunmetal is just like a bluish, um, bluish silver color. I can't talk. And I already mentioned this, but the packaging is very nicely. It's just like a um, velvet, not velvet, like felt. No velvet. I don't know how to describe it, but you can just see. And then it just is naked urban decay. And then it's urban decay right here. I personally, Urban Decay is my favorite brand to get eyeshadows from. They're very good quality. Okay. So you're getting 12 full size eyeshadows for $48 and each one is $18. So you can do the math, multiply 18 by 12 and you'll see like how many free eyeshadows you practically get in this palette. Um, like I already said, one of the cons is it's pricey but it's worth the money. I absolutely recommend this palette for beginners or if you're if you just don't have this palette but you're really into eyeshadow definitely get this palette I wish there was more like taupe colors though I wish they replaced half baked and smog with a different color just because those are my least favorite colors and I don't really wear goldeny eyeshadows but I have more half baked half baked and smog together they are pretty but they're not one of the colors that I will like always reach for in this palette um, one of the other cons that I don't like is it has a very small mirror. If you have not seen videos on the Naked 2 palette, the Naked 2 palette mirror is the whole front, like, section. So, I wish this palette had that. Okay, so my first favorite color is Virgin. And this is just a very nice highlight color. So, this is what Virgin looks like. It's just a very nice highlight color, um, like I already said, but... I absolutely love this color. Okay, my next favorite color is Sidecar. Sorry, I forgot what it was called. And this is a color with a lot of, like, chunky glitter. 
but it's really pretty like it's a very pretty brown you can see right there it does have chunky glitter but it's such a pretty color and then my next favorite color is naked I love this color because it's a very like um you can't really see it it's a very nice color just to blend all your eyeshadows in with um I don't know if you can really see it but it's right there and my next favorite color is sin and this is just a very nice all over the lid color you'll see me using these in my um, tutorial thing you can't really see sin but it's right there it's just a very nice shimmering champagne color my next favorite color is toasted and I like wearing this color all over the lid when I want like a darker eye look um, I wear toasted all over the lid and then um, hustle in the crease so this is toasted right here it's a very nice brown color like brownie like a light brown color and then my um, neck or my last favorite color is toasted I love this color it's so pretty just like it's such a pretty brown it's right there it's like very nice purpley brown um, my least favorite color is probably half baked though I'll swatch half baked I'll swatch all the rest for you this is dark horse um, gunmetal um, creep half baked Right here and then smog is right next to it so those are the all the colors in the naked palette I absolutely love this palette um, but I've been using this palette non-stop and I absolutely love this palette so freaking much it's unbelievable so yeah peace uh, this is my cover of take care by Drake featuring Rihanna I know you've been hurt by someone else. I can tell by the way you carry yourself. So if you let me, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. you win